All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Call Hala Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who've ruled well and who taught me this truth. And I shalom to you, sincere Akiyam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want the Rathazah to be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And uh, the inspiration for this lesson is going to be uh, I was watching this video. I, I, I watched this guy a lot. Uh, Jeremiah Babe, um, he's like a um, like a, a prepper, one of those you know, one of those people that's watching, you know, measuring the time diligently. I believe he's a Christian, and you know, he gives a lot of report on the economy and so on and so forth. You know, I watch a, a lot of these videos, ec economic prepper, prepper, and you know these type of things. But um, yeah, he does good videos. He, he makes a lot of valid points, and um. I saw this video here, and he made a statement about. Um, watch the video in its entirety. I don't want to play it because I don't. I don't want to get copyright stricken. But um, as you can see, it's entitled uh, "People Have No Idea for What's Coming," which we keep to saying over and over. We're broken records. A lot of you got your heads in the sand. You know, you're putting off the day of the Lord. You're putting off that evil day, as if it's just gonna go away. Things are not gonna get better. Things are only getting worse. Time like never before. Time like never before. Per Daniel twelve and one. You know. So it says people have no idea what's coming. Catastrophic crash inevitable. Lose your addictions now. And then it, it says Airbnb. So I haven't watched the whole video, but um, this is something me and the brother talk about. You know, I, I notice all the time. You know, um, a, a lot of these people are, are miserable. You know, they're strung out on drugs. There are a lot of a lot of people. They don't think they're addicts because they get a prescription. You know, they get a prescription for antidepressants. They're on Xanax and and all these uppers and downers. You know, a lot of these people are don't know if they come to going. You know, <laughs> strung out on all you know just all type of vices. You know, and the times that we're coming into, you're gonna have to quit cold turkey, man. Everything is gonna come to a screeching halt. But. That was the video that inspired this lesson, which uh, it was in my mind uh, prior. These things were in my mind, but um, he mentioned a statement about the the the. Uh, it was an old, which I saw too. It was an old um, statistic about the amount of Americans that are on anti antidepressants. I think the, the the article that he that he had it said what thirty seven million um, Americans are on antidepressants. You know, I think that was one out of six Americans. You know, and that was an old study, you know, so um, that you know, that led me to do my own due diligence. And most of the articles that I that I found were old. All right. But uh, that's what this lesson centered around. When you look around and he's he, he, he mentions a bunch of things, man. The ends are meeting, man. Everything is coming to a head. These people are at their wits end, you know, and it's only going to get worse. And majority of you have no idea what's coming, but you can't say you weren't warned. We're, we're broken records, man. Seek the Lord while He may be while He may be found. Repent, because the only only thing that's going to deliver you in the days to come is that the wah, that hedge of, of protection, being exempt from judgment, man. You, you, no amount of money, no amount of silver, gold, no amount of um, stockpiling resources, nothing can you do. Nothing is going to deliver you out of the hands of Yahweh Shem Shai once the doors of mercy are slammed shut. And judgment commences. All right. So um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to make this too long. So let's get into this article. Like I said, most of the studies I saw were uh, old, but it's just very alarming. But it's nothing we don't know. The scriptures tell us, you know, I, which I got the scriptures. You know, that's the times that we're living in. Evil times, and it's only going to get worse. Evil times, bad times on the horizon. So this is as um, antidepressant use by country 2023 it says the most concentration of antidepressants by country and this is remember the chief uh place of uh judgment is going to be in babylon the great all right america is going to be completely destroyed thus saith the lord by thermonuclear destruction by missiles 
ICBMs. But a hey, the whole a hey, Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation is gonna try the world. Cause why? This is the earth, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The hour of temptation is gonna try the world. Yasharallah, we're scattered amongst the four corners of the earth, right? So this is a global thing. This is a, a global agenda, a global reset. You know? You know? So it says the most concentration of antidepressants by country between 2016 and 2020 comes from Iceland, Portugal, Canada, Australia, Sweden, Spain, and Germany. All Edomite nations also have seen a rise in the use of these medications, antidepressants, because people are miserable. They're depressed. They're, they have suicidal thoughts. You know, they have no hope. You know, the United States wasn't included in some of the original studies on antidepressants. However, it turns out as of 2016 that the U.S. has about 110 users of them per capita, at least by 2016. The usage of antidepressants spiked after 2019, not just in the U.S., but around the world. In 2021, a report states that twice as many people in the United Kingdom began living with depression during the pandemic. Two years before this, 2019, social isolation and loneliness led to increased depression cases taking place from, from that time until 2022. People most affected around the world by depression are those prone to depression in the first place. For instance, they may have already been diagnosed with a, with a major depressive disorder. Others may have de developed this condition because their circumstances put them at risk of falling into it ends are coming every everything is coming to an end all right everything is um coming to a head you know but you ain't seen nothing yet in the case of circumstantial depression some people end up this way after losing a spouse a pet or a job any major life change that disrupts a person's life causes it with this in mind the you know what lockdowns in 2020 would have been would be enough drastic change for anyone to have developed depression for the first time. Experiencing depression doesn't mean that people need to be on antidepressants. However, many people with circumstantial depression have taken it at least temporarily. It says increases in depression did not start with with 2020 with 2020, you know what? Like some people might assume. Yeah, this is the cuz things have been gradually getting worse all right and it's going to keep getting worse because esau's bringing the squeeze order out of chaos the hegelian dialect pressure from above pressure from below in 2016 germany had already experienced a 46 percent rise in antidepressant use in four years portugal and spent all edomite nations portugal and spain had at least 20 percent increase in the usage of medication to combat depression because they steadily oppressing the people he oppressed a man in his heritage people using medication uh, for depression during this time included people as young as 12 years old again people using medic yeah you got a lot of young people committing that uh control or deleting themselves man you know that, that's the world that we're living in People using medication for depression during this time included people as young as 12 years old. However, there's also one third of people in the U.S. who never use antidepressants even if they were depressed. On the other hand, 60% of Americans who take antidepressants took them for at least two years. So it's not even a short-term thing. They're on them for, for, for a long time, you see? And um, that's the point. That's the point, man. That's the point. You know? Hey, that's the times that we're living in. And it's only going to get worse. You know? People that you see at work, you know, you think that they're all cheer, chipper and in a good mood and they're always laughing and smiling. A lot of times, that's a facade. That's that, That's a fake smile, man. Deep down inside, they're miserable. We know they're miserable. Why? Because the wicked is ruling. <laughs> okay? So, um, let me hit the scriptures and close out. Again, the, the video that inspired this was... um from Jeremiah Babe, you know, go ahead and watch this video in its entirety. He expounds on a lot of things, you know. 
a lot of po- p- um, factual points of what's going on, you know? And again, people have no idea what's coming. Catastrophic crash is inevitable. Lose your addictions now. Yeah, because, hey, you don't want any type of vice. The only vice we want is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. <laughs> this wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. The times that we're coming into, you addicted to fucking uh, Zoloft and uh, Xanax and uh, you addicted to whatever you addicted to. Cigarettes, weed, whatever the hell you addicted to, man. What you going to do when you can't get your fix? <laughs> That's going to cause you to bug out even more, you know? So anyway, um, oh, a lot of you are addicted to social media. You're addicted to likes and views. Man, this place is through. You people are through. At least you repent. So let's hit the scriptures and we close out. We know most of them, basic scriptures, but they're pertinent. Job 9 and 24, I quoted it. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And we know per Malachi 1 and 4, the wicked is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. And he's oppressing the people. He, he's oppressing the people. He's squeezing the people. To, uh, squeezing every last drop out of the people, man. Okay? And that's why we're, we, 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 man, fuck this world. <laughs> we don't give a damn about this world. We're looking for new heavens and new earth. We're in dwelleth righteousness. And that's going to take place when our, 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 when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai returns, man. And, and, and turns everything right side up again. You know, and takes this devil down. You know, you know, so it says uh, Psalms 82 and 5, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness, the majority of the people, gross darkness covered the people. They're blinded, man. They're blinded with, with this world, this Babylon juice, the affairs of this world, this life, you know, they have no light in them, no truth, no true wisdom and understanding of the heavenly father. You know, and that's true. That's really why these people are miserable. All right. You know, they trust in oppression. They trust in a lie. Psalms 82 and 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness, groping in noonday. All the foundations of earth are out of course. Because Esau, Edom turned everything upside down. You know, surely a turn of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. This is Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, and by default, Yasharala, because we're joint is with Yahweh Shai, Himashiach, you know, and that's what we're looking for. Our kingdom, baby. The kingdom is coming. It's nigh. It's just nigh, man. But two kings can't sit on the same throne. In order for one king to rule, another king got to fall. You know? You know? So it says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So, hey, when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai returns and, 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 and uh, turns everything right side up again, the people ain't going to be strung out on antidepressants, you know? You know? Because a just power is going to be ruling. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. And that's why they're strung out on, on antidepressants. And it's only increasing. It's getting worse and worse. Worse and worse. And you ain't seen nothing yet. This is Baruch 4. The main point is in 31 and 32, but I'll start at 28. Baruch 4 and 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being returned, seek him ten times more. For he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. Yeah, the only one that's going to deliver us from this predicament that we're in is the one that put us in it. You know, we were brought here chiefly to the Americas, you know, given into the hands of our enemies as a punishment. This was a punishment for our disobedience, for, for, from disobeying Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for being rebellious. Okay? So how do we, how do, how do we, how do we uh, get out of the, the conditions that we're in? By repenting, by being obedient, by turning back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, by being obedient to the best of our ability, putting on as the elect, offending as least as possible, you know? Not following our, our own mind, our own vain imagination, our hearts, but following the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of our ability. And being on fire for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? For as it was in your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being returned, seek him ten times more. For he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy 
with your salvation. You know, we're going to rejoice. We're going to rejoice when this devil gets put down. Take a, that's the good news. That's the gospel. This ain't, this ain't it, bro. This ain't living. This ain't how life was meant to be. Okay. This was a punishment. They whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have a surely drunken. Okay. That's the good news. That's the gospel. This is our last bid. It, and it's almost up. And how much me how is going to recompense our enemies. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem. And remember, we're a people before a place and we're scattered amongst the four corners of the earth. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. You know? And right now we're being comforted by the word. Okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not a man that he shall lie. He's faithful and true. All right? Miserable, this is the main point. Miserable, that's why they strung out on, on, on antidepressants. And, and, and as young as 12 years old, got to take antidepressants, man. Have you know, little children having suicidal thoughts, man. Why? Because the wicked are ruling. And he's ruling wickedly, oppressing the people. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. A lot of, a lot of these Edomites, especially Edomites and these heathens, you know, are, are addicted to, to, to these different opioids, man. That's why they call it an epidemic now, you know? <laughs> you know? It says, Miserable are they that afflicted thee. They losing their businesses. They losing their homes. Their cars getting repossessed. Their credit cards about tapped out, maxed out, you know? Rents going up. You know? They don't know, you know? <laughs> they see no hope. They see no light at the end of the tunnel. You see? You see? They're getting stricken with all type of diseases and illnesses cancers and diabetes and so on and so forth you know you know their their, their, their homes are falling apart wives are divorcing them children are, are dis wicked as hell, rude as hell disobedient you know cursing them out that's the reality that's the reality of the world that we're living in completely out of order complete chaos miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall miserable are the cities which thy children served Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. That's the point. This place is through. And just open your eyes and look around. You can see this place is through. All right? You know? Beautiful times that we're living in. Yapa, yapa times for the elect, the hopeful elect. Horrific times for the rest of you. I'm going to close out here. Isaiah 24, the main point is in 10. I'm going to start at 7. The new wine mourneth, the, the vine languisheth. All the merry hearted do sigh. That's why they need antidepressants. Because they need an escape, you know, from reality. The mirth of the tabrith ceaseth. The noise of them that rejoice endeth. The joy of the harp ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with the song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. This is the main point. The city of confusion, which is what? Babylon. Babylon the Great. America. The Hebrew word for Babylon is Babal. Confusion. That's, that's what this place is. Nothing but confusion. Bizarro world. The city of confusion is broken down. You see it. Homeless epidemic. Uh, homeless people are everywhere. It's ramp they running rampant, man. You know, a lot of well-to-do middle class pe families and, 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 and individuals. You know, losing their job, losing their nice jobs, losing their benefits, and winding up homeless, man. Living in RVs, parked on the side of the road, living out of their car, working a full-time job, working two, three jobs. You know? <laughs> Beautiful times that we're living in, and it's only going to get worse. Living uh, five, six families in a household, a single family home. You know? <laughs> Beautiful times. The city of confusion is broken down, and it's only going to get worse. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. That's the point. That's the point, you know. Hey, beautiful times that we're living in. This place is through. And again, these people have no idea what's coming. You know, but the prudent man, he see if the evil and hideth himself. You know, we're hiding ourselves in Yahweh Bashim and Shai. And this truth and this thing of ours. But the simple, the simple passes on and are slayed. You know? You know, these people are through. Shalawam, keep pushing. We're close. Wa, Abad, Babal, Kwam, Nesharala.